welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be sharing 16 best command prompt cmd command that every windows user must know and you can make your computer level experience to the next level so let's open up the command prompt so i will click on my windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt then choose run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here the first command is related to the factory reset so I have seen many people, they do not get the option of resetting this PC even they are on their desktop or even they are accessing the computer in the startup option. They don't find the reset this PC option. So what they can do, they can bring up the command prompt and type this simple command that is system reset space dash dash factory reset. And once you hit the enter key, you will find that this kind of page will be coming up. Choose an option, keep my file, remove everything. So you directly get this option to reset your PC and even you don't have to manually go to the settings and come back to this option. So this command can be really useful for you to quickly reset your PC or even when you're not getting this option. And now the next command is del space forward slash q forward slash f forward slash s space percent temp percent back forward slash star. Now this command will be clearing all kind of temporary file and junk from your computer. So type this command, hit the enter key and this will be clearing all the file related to the temp that are not required that is creating a problem on your computer and occupying a lot of storage. So this can be really useful for the people who want to improve the performance or do any kind of troubleshooting. And now the next command is IP config space or slash all. So with this command, you can find all the information related to your Ethernet, your Wi-Fi, and other kind of network adapter information so it will display your ip address the mac address the dhcp status whether it's been enabled or not and the many kind of other information that can be really useful for you to do any kind of network troubleshooting and then we have the similar command that is very useful for troubleshooting many kind of network problem and that is ip config space for a slash flush dns so this will be clearing all your dns cache and if you have any kind of internet problem where your Wi-Fi is not working or you have any kind of network connectivity problem, then run this simple command, hit the enter key. This will be clearing all your DNS resolver cache. Okay, and now next command is very useful for the people who want to hide their folder from their file explorer, from their document or from any of the location. So for that, what you will have to do, close command prompt from here, bring up your file explorer and then locate to the location where you have the folder that you want to hide so let's say if i have a folder in the music folder and here i have a file by the name new and i want to hide it so here on the top at this box click on it then type cmd hit the enter key now here you have to type a simple command that will be att rib space plus h space plus s space plus r and then give a space and now type the name of the folder that you want to hide so let's say I want to hide this one. So I'll type new. And now if I hit the enter key. And then if I go back to my this folder and refresh it. So you will find that the folder has been disappeared. So this is how without using any kind of third party tool. You can hide any kind of folder from your document. All right. Now if you want to bring it back. Then what you will have to do. Type attrib space. Now instead of plus you have to add minus sign so i'll type minus h space minus s space minus r and then type the name of the folder that you want to bring back and now if i hit the enter key and if i go back now you can see the folder is back so this is a very useful command and once you are familiar with this command you can easily operate it and hide and unhide any kind of folder okay now let's move with the next one that we have is wmic space product space get space name if you type this command and hit the enter key so this will display all the information about the product installed on your computer and now in order to know the driver information you have to type driver query hit the enter key now this will display all the information about the driver installed on your computer so if you want to know any kind of detail about the driver installed on your computer you can use this simple command okay now the next one is system info so if you type this command and hit the enter key now this will be loading up all the information about your system devices and once you hit the enter key after loading up it will show you that what kind of operating system you have operating system version the build type 
the registered owner the product id so if you want to know the product id the activation id of your windows then you can know it you can know the original install date system boot time what kind of ram you have installed on your computer everything information will be displayed over here and even you can find the network card information and hyper v requirement okay so now let's see some kind of cool cmd command so if i type help space color and hit the enter key now this will be displaying the information that what kind of color i can change using the color code so if i type color 5 and hit the enter key so you can see the color has been now changed and it's been turned into purple and now if you want to switch to the green color of course most of the people want that and for that it's a so i have to type here color a and now you can see everything has been changed to the green color similarly if you want to turn into light yellow light purple then you have to use this letter and for this one you have to use the number okay and now the next one we have net state space dash an and if i type this command this will be displaying all kind of network connection information like what kind of website and what kind of connectivity my computer is doing how many website has been connected with what kind of ip address what is the status they are listening they are active or they are being closed so this can be really useful for the people who want to know the live status of the website connected to on their computer the next we have the winver so if i type w-i-n-v-e-r and hit the enter key so this will be quickly popping up with a page here that says windows 11 now this will be displaying that uh, what exactly version you are using like 22h2 what is the build number and many times you will need such kind of information in order to do any kind of update in order to download any kind of application or feature for a specific windows 11 operating system then we have something related to the troubleshooting so if you type chk dsk and hit the enter key so now this will be running the check disk and it will be checking for any kind of problem with your disk connected on your computer so this can be really useful if you have any kind of problem with the hard drive or any kind of booting problem on your computer and now we have the prompt command that can be really useful if you want to do some kind of fun so let's see if i want to change this path c windows system 32 i mean i will not be changing the path but it will be displaying by the different name now this can be like anything so i will have to type prompt then i have to give a space and add the message that i want to be displayed so i will type hacking and then if i hit the enter key so now you can see instead of c windows system 32 it will say hacking then you can use any kind of command here like the last one was chk dsk so if i hit the enter key so the command will be working absolutely perfect and now the next one is power cfg space forward slash energy if you type this command and hit the enter key now this will be tracing and observing the system behavior and this command will take some time and it will let you know about the power plan and the power information the battery health every detail about this computer so after running this command you will have to wait for some time and once it will be completed i will show you that how exactly and what kind of information it display and once the command is completed you can see it says energy efficiency problem were found five error five warning 21 informational so in order to find the exact problem it gives you this kind of location that you can go to see windows system 32 so let's bring it up so we will go to the system 32 or i can show you from the beginning if i go to c drive then go to windows then if i look for system 32 and in system 32 it says by the name energy dash report so i can look for energy and i will scroll down until i get it or you can also search it by clicking on the system 32 search type energy and then it will display energy dash report dot html so if i make a double click on it and open it with any of the browser so you will find this will give you the error information that what error has been related to what devices so it says usb suspended usb device not entering selective suspend so by reading this all information you can do any kind of troubleshooting you can just manage the power settings and whatever problem you get all right so now the last command is disk part so if you simply type disk part so from here you can manage all kind of your disk so once you're in the disk part you can type list disk 
this will display all kind of disk connected to your computer so now let's say i have only one disk connected so in order to select it what i have to type select disk then the number of that disk so it's zero so i will type disk zero now this disk will be selected now in order to find all kind of volume all kind of partition in this disk what i will type list volume and then it will display all kind of volume created in that particular disk so again if you want to select any kind of volume here then you have to type the same command that will be select volume then the number of that volume so it's two i will hit the two now the volume two is being selected so depending if i want to format it if i want to make any kind of changes if i want to delete it everything i can do from this command only all right so guys these were the six best cmd command that every windows user must know for hacking and for many other kind of purposes like troubleshooting and optimization so that's all guys for today hopefully you will enjoy this video and find this command useful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye